I'm very excited. I've heard about this movie for weeks now. I can't wait to see it. Well, I've, I know some people who have seen it already, and basically I go hiking in the woods a lot, and I've been told I'm never going to do that again, so. Well, it's been 21 years since E.T. was at the premiere of The Blair Witch Project, a movie that was getting so much buzz. Is it a documentary? Is it a real story? Is it all made up? Everyone was talking about it, and everyone was so confused. That is why it is our Rewind of the Week. Now, this one was starring Heather Donahue, Michael C. Williams, and Joshua Leonard, and it was about three kids who disappeared, but their equipment and footage was discovered a year later, and they went hiking through the Black Hills in Maryland in 1994 to film a documentary about the local legend known as the Blair Witch. This was just like the viral marketing around this is why it got so popular, and I remember they had like missing students posters of the three actors, and people were like, is this real? Is this fake? And even, I remember my first time watching it because I was so young, I was like, oh, I'm watching like, I'm watching real footage. I'm watching like a true crime story right now. So fun fact, Ash, I never saw the Blair Witch Project. I watched it this weekend and oh my gosh, like it's crazy because the number one takeaway that I had from this movie is that it felt like I was watching three regular people in the woods. It didn't ever once feel like they were acting. Here he is filling out our first slate for our first shot. Should we all like cut our fingers open and bleed on it? They filmed it in eight days. It only took eight days to make this movie. The actors got paid $1,000 a day. And in the one scene in the movie where they're so upset, they're back at the same log that they were when they started the day. You gotta be kidding me, this is a joke! That actually happened to the actors. And that frustration that was on screen was 100% real. <sighs> Gosh! We walked for 15 hours today. We ended up in the same place. There's no one here to help you. That's your motivation. It's not the first found footage movie to exist, but it's heavily credited as kind of the found footage movie, the one that kind of revitalized the genre, leading to things like Paranormal Activity and Cloverfield and so on and so forth. So was it as creepy as you expected. As I was watching the movie, and the truly scary stuff doesn't really happen until like the last 15 minutes. So I was like, wait, how much time is left? Five minutes? When are we gonna see anything? And then the fact that you never actually see the Blair Witch, I was shocked by. Because nowadays, we're used to that payoff. We're used to getting that glint of that horrifying thing. <laughs> I think we're just so used to getting that payoff these days that I was a little, I was like, oh, that was it. But I can understand because the audience was so confused of, is this actually real, is it not? It's all about like the leading up to it. And if you're in the theater, of course, this is gonna be absolutely terrifying. Like people were having fits. I wasn't able to sleep for like four nights. I was seeing things, hearing things. It was just really creepy. That's it's what you don't see that scares you. It's a movie that lets you imagine. I remember just like the, the little Blair Witch like symbol that would like show up in the woods randomly was so freaky to me for some reason. I think it's because when I watched at that age, I was like a kid that hung out in the woods. So the woods became oh. a terrifying place after that. I'm scared to close my eyes. I'm scared to open them. These three leads apparently believed that the Blair Witch was a real legend during filming. They tortured these guys. Oh my God, these poor actors. And I think the legend is unsettling enough. They knew it was a fake movie, but they thought the actual legend of the Blair Witch was a real thing. So I think there was some added elements of creepiness for them while they were filming. The directors were essentially, like you're saying, torturing these poor actors. They played <laughs> the sound of the children playing out on boom boxes surrounding the tent um, when they were actually screaming because the tent was shaking Making, those were the directors doing that when they were sleeping in the middle of the night. So this movie, obviously, like you give three actors a camera and have them walk around the woods and you communicate with them through walkie talkies, like not gonna cost that much. So this movie was in the Guinness Book of World Records for top budget box office ratio for a mainstream film because it cost about $60,000 to make, which is not a lot in the, the scheme of things, and made about $248 million back. 
a ratio of a dollar spent for every $10,931 made. But apparently they were supposed to show the Blair Witch at one point. So as they're all running out of the tent and they're yelling like, oh God, oh God, what the hell? The cameraman was supposed to pan to the left so that the audience would briefly see this woman wearing a white gown who was supposed to be the Blair Witch. But the cameraman apparently forgot to pan to the left and the scene was not reshot. I don't know why they wouldn't reshoot that, but. Heather Donahue said that starring in the Blair Witch was actually a detriment to her career. She found it really hard to find work after being part of this. She was part of like the biggest blockbuster ever and everyone was talking about this movie and then she couldn't find her next job. In fact, E.T. actually caught up with Heather Donahue way back when to talk to her about what it was like to star in this crazy project and this is what she had to say. The impact of the Blair Witch Project on my life is so strange because it's really neither good nor bad, it's, it's just big. Yes, it helped. Yes, it hurt. Yes, it completely changed my life. Well, that's gonna do it for this week's episode of Stream Queens, but we are dying to know, have you recently rewatched The Blair Witch Project and do you think it's going to live up to the hype? Hmm. Definitely. And do you have a favorite found footage horror movie? Maybe one we haven't seen because we want to hear about it. Let us know using the hashtag Stream Queens and we'll see you guys next week.